show you something super quick. It's if you value the time on page that somebody spends on your site. So if they spend, let's say 30 seconds on a particular page or a minute on a particular page, you can head over to GTM and actually configure that quite easily. So over in the trigger section, you can see here in this account, I've got a trigger called timer one minute. So we're just using the trigger type of timer. So I just found it here on the bottom of the list. And for the interval for milliseconds, I put in 60,000. So that's one minute. And then I did the same for 30 seconds. So I've got another version of that timer. I just called it timer 30 seconds. I selected timer and <clears throat> I put, uh, put 30,000 as the interval. Now this is actually important too. So I said, enable this trigger when all of these conditions are true. I said page path matches regex and then I put dot star. So that means enable the timer basically wherever GTM is. <clears throat> now here's a use case for it. So we've got here for timer 30 seconds, we are firing a GA4 event tag. So I've got the measurement ID in there. And then I'm passing an event called timer underscore 30 underscore SEC seconds. So if somebody is on the site for 30 seconds, the event called timer 30 seconds will fire. You can actually use that as a conversion in Google ads. You can see in your reports how many people spend 30 seconds on a particular page. This could be an audience, let's say, but I like the idea of bidding toward it in Google ads. So check this out. So let's, let's go to the site. <clears throat> so let's see if we go here to real time, we can see here that it actually did fire timer one minute fired and timer 30 seconds fired. You can go here to preview and see what that looks like. Okay, so here we are. This is the GTM preview mode. You can see it hasn't fired yet. Let's give it 30 seconds. <clears throat> so let's see here. Dom ready. Hasn't fired yet. I'm trying to kill time here. <laughs> Tags did not fire. Where is it? So timer 30 seconds. Let's see, so it's, it's currently counting, I'm sure. So something happened. The timer event fired and timer 30 seconds fired, perfect. And then you see there that we're passing an event called timer underscore 30 seconds. Yep, and there it is, timer 30 seconds. So that's kind of cool. Maybe a different use case is you could, instead of firing it on all pages, you could fire it on a specific page. Let's say a blog or something. If you, if, you know, if, if the whole blog takes four minutes to read, maybe you want to fire this particular event uh, at the two minute mark on that particular blog page. That's an interesting idea, right? You can also kind of utilize scroll depth and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, hopefully that helps. It's kind of a, neat way to use the timer function. I know GTM does have this functionality uh, built in with their engagement timer, but I, I like doing it this way. It's kind of uh, a way that I feel like I have a little bit more control over. Okay, have a good one, and uh, hopefully that was useful to you. Bye-bye.